Here it is all finished. GPS on top, warming up. Got itself the time, not a fix yet. In a minute it'll start pushing buttons. Setting the time. Here we go, it's got a signal. Let's reset the minutes. It's adjusted the hours to 11, and it's going to adjust the minutes now. 55, I suspect. It's all open loop. It just presses the buttons. So now it'll uh, wait for the GPS time to reach 11.55 that it's just set. And then I'll release the reset line. Clock will start. Three, two, one, and we're running. So at this point, the uh, box on top is actually not doing anything to drive the clock. The clock is driving itself from the power frequency. Um, the box. Um, simply sits here and uh, monitors the drift. So there's a little chart here that you can leave on and it will show how much the uh, time that's shown on the clock is drifting based on its feedback from all the zero lines on the time display. Um, there's a manual resync, so if you want to make it go sync again um, if it's come out of sync for whatever reason, but it's been pretty reliable recently. And the main main display, which says that everything's running okay. So, in theory, I can unplug this box at the top and the clock will keep running. Well, we can do that in practice too. As long as I uh, flick the run switch first. Uh, the run switch has to be in the not run position so that the um, controller is able to pull it down. One part I quite like to show is the uh, 24 hour time reset. So if we turn the run switch off, which is this one here, and then I've got an hour and a minute setting buttons at the back. Um, so if I change the hours here, every time an hour changes, it'll uh, reset that next minute button um, to zero. If we see we've got 20, 21, 2, 3, and then the uh, 20 signal will sort of energize a valve circuit, um, which is kind of acts as a a logic gate for the four signal to then reset both of these. Um, and so if there's a valve in there that's sitting doing about two, three watts of heating um, to do that job once a day, and that's it. Um, again, if I uh, plug the controller back in, we can probably see it uh, do a reset. There's the startup. So it's waiting to talk to the GPS. Yeah, and we're going.
So again, this is going to set the time to 12.00, I think. Five, four, three, two, one, and we're running.